Biskri Abdel Karim, country, Algeria, province, Wargla, the owner of the idea of the Green Train Publish. Date, the 22nd of August, 2022. The owner of the idea of Raintree Towers Publish. Date, the 9th of October, 2023. The first idea, the Green Train. The Albion Aquifer is largely found in the Algerian Sahara. It is composed mostly of brackish water. It contains more than 50,000 billion cubic meters of water, the equivalent of 50,000 times the Beni Harun Dam in the east of the country, which supplies six neighboring wilayas. This water is the result of the accumulation that has taken place during the wet periods that have followed one another over the past one million years. Algeria has 2,381,740 square kilometers of territory, more than 80% of which is desert. This is a map of the railway lines being built in Algeria. The line, that is the yellow balloon, has been finished. As can be seen in the image of the railway line running from east to west in the northern part of the Algerian Sahara. This will greatly help in the establishment of the Green Train Project, which will help achieve food security and stop the encroachment of sand towards the north. The line with the green balloon represents the watering area that the train will make. As we know, the fire truck carries more than 1,000 gallons of water, and therefore a single train trailer holds twice the size, which means more than 2,000 gallons. And in a normal load, the train pulls more than 30 trailers. This means that one train draws more than 270,000 liters of water. All train trailers filled with water are connected via flexible pipes. Water is regularly transported to the front of the train. Modern water is thrown over long distances by a high-pressure water gun. The water gun is a very important element in the process of throwing water through the train. The unilateral water throwing range can reach 400 to 500 meters. This means that the water reaches one kilometer on both sides of the train in both directions, right and left. The positive effects of this project Stop the encroachment and backfill of sand along the railway track in the south. The establishment of the Green Shield repels the phenomenon of sand encroachment towards the north. Creating a green cover helps mitigate climate change. Addressing the hot winds coming from the south and causing burning and crop damage. Reduce global warming. Using the train in firefighting if the fire is in the railway track. The idea of this project is the only one in the world and the largest to create the longest line of defense to echo the encroachment of sand. Reduce the transmission of hot air that causes fires and drought in North Africa and Europe. This project can be used to cultivate the desert and achieve food security. It is directly linked to the second project, the Rain Tree Towers, which will complement the Green Train project. Second idea, Rain Tree Towers project to plant the desert. The Sahara is a desert on the African continent. With an area of 9,200,000 square kilometers, 3,600,000 square miles. The desert covers much of North Africa, excluding the fertile region on the Mediterranean Sea coast, the Atlas Mountains of the Maghreb, and the Nile Valley in Egypt and the Sudan. Here there is Algeria. Algeria is the largest country in Africa. The desert represents 80% of its area. The water table is found primarily in the Algerian Sahara, one of the largest reserves of fresh water in the world. It contains more than 50,000 billion cubic meters of fresh water. This water is the result of accumulation that occurred during humid periods that occurred one million years ago. That is, in a stage of the early and late Cretaceous period. 
This Kerry Abdul Karim gives us an insight into the largest irrigation system in the world. The principle of the idea is to build an iron tower whose height is close to that of Burj Khalifa. The tower is called the rain tree. It is about 800 meters long. When water is extracted from the ground, water is diverted into tanks. This water is pumped by a pump to the highest point in the tower. From that point, the water is distributed in four directions. Here we must focus to understand the idea. At the top of the tower is a turbine that rotates very quickly. The tubes are ejected slowly while keeping the turbine rotating. As the speed of rotation increases, the tubes are freed from gravity. A steel ball is placed at the end of the tube to move the center of gravity to that point with rotation. The pipe is reinforced from the inside with high-strength wire, with a pipe containing holes to drain water to the outside. No study has been conducted on the possibility of irrigating lands in this way. But the water irrigation range is expected to reach about 3,000 meters. Because the more spin, the more matter is freed from gravity. If this idea succeeds in reality, we can say that it is the most powerful watering machine in the world. Summary of the two ideas The green train aims to create a large-scale buffer zone. The idea of the second project It is agriculture beyond the buffer line with the most powerful machine in the world and watering by water. To complete the project plan, it must extend to the south of Tunisia and the northwest of Libya. The project aims not only to protect North Africa, but also Europe. This is done by reducing the arrival of hot winds, causing drought and fires, and decreasing green spaces. Therefore, we must all cooperate for the success of this project. This huge project will be called Adam Project. And to remind the owner of the idea of the project is Biskri Abdul Karim.